even with the Supreme Court to judgment, I still foresee problems. Whether government, whether federal government, give me to governor or local government, because governor is the one still controlling the local government. Supreme Court judgment affirming financial autonomy for the local government system has sparked a debate among Nigerians, with some respondents applauding the ruling and others against it. The Apex Court has directed that the financial allocations meant for running all 774 local government areas in the country be paid to them directly. It said that state governments have no right to keep and manage allocation on behalf of the local governments, a practice the court says is unconstitutional. People talk took to the street to get reactions on local governments getting financial autonomy. I think it's a good policy, but when you look at it from, you know, we are looking at it from which angle? From the angle of the fact that number one, now they have the autonomy, are they going to use the fund judiciously? I was discussing this issue with a friend yesterday on the island yesterday. If the government can put the necessary measures, like the elections, but the governors will still want to dominate. You know, they've been having this reform for so long. Now you are taking it from there, definitely they are going to react. But if well implemented, I think it will benefit the masses, particularly at the grassroots. I don't I don't see anything really good about it. So, what I mean is that they are all the same thing. Whether government, whether federal government, give it to governor or local government, because governor is the one still controlling the uh, local government. Do you understand? They are the one to control, you can see now, they are now rushing to go and control the election now. So they are going to put somebody there. They are still going to telegraph the person. So it's all the same thing. The only thing that they can do is that, let IMA conduct local government election on the same day with the governor. That's the best solution. All this one is just fire brigade approach. Because if you give it to, to the local government, uh, to, uh, directly to the local government, okay, fine. It's a very good move. For the governor, they are the chief executive of their state. They are the one controlling the local government. They will put the chairman there and they will tell you the chairman. So what are we what it's all the same thing. To me, the judgment of the Supreme Court is upright. It will bring the development to the local government, to the grassroots. Because we have three tiers of government. And this has to be strictly adhered to so that all of them will function. And the problem of this in Nigeria today is the governors. They are the problem. Because they are never satisfied with any money getting to them. Including a local government fund. They want to use up to their own advantage. So even with the Supreme Court to judgment, I still foresee problems. Because the governor will want to always fight back. To have more than they can chew. Actually, uh, it will enhance, it's obvious that it will enhance development in local government. Because getting money direct from the uh, from the federal government will enhance, and even the chairman of a local government will see it. They will see it as a, you know, fact. I can't call it a burden, but a responsibility to make sure they excel. To make sure they reach out to the less privileged, which the federal cannot reach or the state cannot reach. For the local moment, knowing their people, it will be easier for them to reach inside the villagers, inside the villages to develop the villages.